and that is phenomenal from Jonathan Helvig. And he's starting to bring just a pack a little bit more gas on those swings, a little bit more pop to those options. Wonderful dig from Oman. Oh, the first ball handset from Alex Brower. And that might seem at first blush to be easier to pass than outdoors. But indoors, it can just catch an air pocket and take a dive out of seemingly nowhere. And that is a big swing into the angle from Musen. No problem. Set drifted way outside the antenna. Still sometimes just the luck of the draw if that ball is going to ping pong down or if it's going to ping pong out of bounds. Good read from Robbie Musen, not fooled by the jump set from Oman, getting in front of the face. Jonathan Helvig. Excellent seam serve from Helvig. Perfectly handled from Oman. And the slide poke is handled from Barrow. David Oman! Such a crowd pleaser when the defender gets a block. Nice hands at the net from Robbie Musin. Just hits your left bicep in the right position. Beauty. Beauty of an off speed shot from Musin. Wonderful. Snap down the line. Bit of a double up into the angle. Brower, not sure if Musin missed his assignment there, if it was Brower. Sticking with Helvig on the options, running to Oman on the jump sets. Whatever he's seeing, he scouted it well. And that's a new one. Nicely done from Brower, somehow sneaking that one around the block of Helvig, both laterally and vertically. Johnny Helvig, goodness. <laughs> to live on forever. As we come out of the timeout, 11-10 is the lead for Sweden. Evenly played match thus far. Is there a touch? Yes, there is a touch at the net on Johnny Helvig. Easy for Helvig to close that space. Oh, what a play that is from Oma. And there's a nice little chisel down the line from Robbie Musin. Most of the time leans on the jump serve. The jump serve is going to be more difficult at altitude, of course. Set again, drifts too far outside of the antenna. Easy play from Oman to make it. How about the Statue of Liberty pokey that's going to be initially awarded to the Netherlands? Let's have a look. What a press that is from Helvig. Now, the little Statue of Liberty poke from Helvig right on top of the net. Out of the time that we go. It has not been a big run by Sweden. It's just been a side out and an urn, a side out and an urn. And there's a side out, urn and an urn on the ace serve from David Oman. Would love to see the full play with this camera view. Such a fun angle to watch not all of the plays, but just the occasional one. And option stuffed. Johnny Helvig saying... Not today, because this was mandatory. Brower had no other choice. Just tries to press it into Helvig and recycle it. What a dig that is from Oman. Helvig can't chase it down. Oh my goodness, what a set. And that is an ace serve from Alex Brower, now going for the fast flat float of his own. Hitting both the sideline and the end line. Has some of the highest ace counts on the Beach Pro Tour. Set again, too far outside, making it easy for Oman to fill into that sharp angle. Oh, what a cover that is from Helvig. And the one-handed scoop dig from Oman, not set up. Oman knows that line and seam are unavailable, so he can shift into that sharper angle 
and it's easier for him to make a play on it. And now Johnny Helvick, three for three on options. And she continues to throw in some gas. Move side out from Brower. Very rare serve. Helvig, that is a bounce town. Down the seam to claim the opening set 21 16 for Sweden. Smooth and calm as you like. Johnny Helvig just continues packing a punch. On the left side of your screen in the blue tops, that'll be Sweden's David Amon and Jonathan Helvig on the right side in the black tops. Alex Brower and Robbie Musin. Nice hands at the net from Musin. Couldn't quite get that soft block close enough to set. That is a huge, huge swing from Robin Musin. Eye contact here from Musin. Watch how high he picks that off. O.T. What a serve down the line. Decently handled from Musin. Unable to make a play, however. Trouble here for Musin. Oh my goodness, what a dig that is from Helvig. And an excellent fill and read from Oman. Oh, Sweden. And then look at that fill into the angle from Oman. No problem. Makes it look so easy. And then pat it into the deep corner. But there are also shots altered by Sweden because Oman and Helvig, they're so active on defense. They make you try to be perfect. And when you try to be perfect, you're going to end up hitting swings and shots that you otherwise wouldn't. Then Oman makes a play. Helvig makes another option. But to make the score respectable could be the difference between breaking pool and not. So Brower and Musin have to be careful here to keep the loss as minimal as they can. Oh, Brower. Have never seen that from Brower. It's worth a try right now. Anything's worth a try because everything Sweden's doing is working. He's serving and running up and then chasing down the boops from Alex Brower and then charging back up and putting the ball away. Sweden might have to take a timeout. I've never seen Musin and Brower switch sides. And they switch sides, put Musin on the left. Three partnerships that will never break up. The sport might mourn when one of them does. This is something special. Even by Sweden's standards, is this something special? Excellent turn back across the body for Robbie Musin. And what a swing that is from Robbie Musin. It did give a different look, made Sweden uncomfortable defensively. Oh, what a cut. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Out of the technical timeout, what other circus tricks will we see from Sweden? None yet. One of the first clean side outs we've seen from Robbie Musin. And did you need the triple ace? You didn't. But they're going to take it anyway. And there's Robbie Musin. Wonderful turn down the line from Helvig, who just continues playing. And speaking of flawless, he'll take care of that one as well. And the match isn't over yet. And that'll do. Bit of a fit again. An error giving Sweden a 21 to, can you believe it, 8 win over.